lightweight trench. So pretty. Hey guys, so I just finished filming. Hence this situation. I haven't done an outfits video in so long, honestly. Haven't been inspired, but I just finished filming half of styling loafers. So it'll probably for sure be up by the time this vlog goes up. So check it out. Um, honestly, I thought that it was going to be kind of hard to style these loafers, uh, the Prada chunky loafers, but it's kind of not that hard. Like there are certain little rules that I noticed that just look better like little styling tricks that just look a little better but for the most part i was able to style them with a lot of different looks so this time change sucks i cannot finish filming an entire video because it's dark at like 4 p.m so i started a little late because i had to do some stuff this morning so i'm gonna have to finish the rest of this video another date so yeah now I have to put all this away and I have to eat. I'm starving. So yes, fun times. We still have a couple more of these covers to put up, but this is what it looks like for now. We really needed something like this because the clear roof for the pergola is nice, but not great for Miami heat. I think he got these at Home Depot. We need to put one over here and like one more in the middle. Oh God, this overhead lighting. Do you guys like my new, <laughs> by the way, I'm not naked, I'm wearing a towel, but do you guys like my new art print right above my toilet? Little inspiration. So, I recently ran out of my makeup removing balm. This is the one that I use. I ran out of this and I started using something else and my skin started freaking out. So I had to buy it again and start using it again. Yes. Um... I know you guys can't really see, but today I tried the new M Cosmetics Cushion Foundation. I'm a big, big fan of M Cosmetics because they're kind of like, 
kind of like that Glossier vibe, but a little bit more makeup-y. Very like natural stuff. I love them. So yeah, I tried it for the first time today. And I actually like the finish. It makes me less dewy throughout the day as opposed to the Glossier skin tint, which is what I usually use. It kind of like held up well. Granted, I didn't really do much. I just filmed a video, but I was trying on outfits and stuff. Yeah, so I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna take a shower. And I'm gonna use my balm, when you find stuff that just works for your face, it's so hard to like deviate from that. When it comes to skincare, makeup is a little different. Makeup, I could experiment a lot more, but with skincare, like when I find something that works, like my skin just doesn't tolerate me just like switching things around. Yeah, my skin just freaked out when I went to the other balm, so yes. Um, I'll keep using the cushion foundation for the rest of the week and I'll update you guys But I'm very 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 picky with any kind of like tint. Oh, by the way, it has SPF 50. So that's amazing um, So I'll keep wearing it. I'll update you guys. I love products that have like everything in one like I, nobody has time to like be applying sunscreen and then like a foundation or like tint or whatever it's so annoying so the more i can kind of like condense things into one the better good so I'm gonna go do something with myself with this situation that we have going on here and then Roger and I are going to probably go run some errands so last night we had three people over exactly three and we made s'mores did a little bonfire and it was cute I don't know why I sound like a man it's the morning so Yes, that's all I got to report for now. I'll see you guys in a bit. So I just finished shooting some stuff for the day and I wanted to show you my pick this month from the lobby. I got this little set, which is just a chunky link chain, but my favorite detail is this little closure detail. It reminds me of the old Tiffany style and I'm very picky with chunky chains like this because my traps prevent me from wearing like shorter chains. So this I think is the perfect length, especially with like mock necks and stuff. And I really like throwing this like over my sleeve and wearing nothing else because obviously it makes a statement, but really love it. This is from Jenny Bird, which is one of my favorite brands on the lobby. So yeah, I'll put all my information, my code and everything in the description. You guys can check it out. I have my gold one from Young Frank, which I love, but for the silver one, I want it to be a little bit different, like not the traditional, just plain link chain. So I really love this closure and I like keeping it to the front and kind of like putting it towards the side. I think it looks so pretty. And same thing with the bracelet. So yes, love it.
So for tonight's outfit, we're going on a little cake cutting for my cousin's birthday. I'm wearing this old lightweight trench. I think it's from Zara, like many years ago. This unitard is from LNA. Shoes are old mules from Stodd, I think. Please don't mind Dexter's toy. And bag is from Osoy via W Concept. And jewelry is Love AJ. Yes. So this is my attire for the day. Wearing a robe, just wash my hair so I have my setting clips in. And before I finish off this vlog, I want to show you guys a little clip of the little fabric tarp things. I don't know exactly what they're called, but earlier in the vlog, Roger and I were putting up the little triangle tarp shade things <laughs> underneath our pergola and I didn't show you a clip of like the finished product so I'm gonna do that now and another clip that I didn't really give a lot of context to was me cleaning my outdoor cushions so what I did was just pre-treat the cushions a little bit with Folex and then Roger went in and pressure cleaned them and that worked really well I did scrub off like bigger stains but for the most part the folex did all the work so folex is like a stain remover uh, for fabrics and stuff like that so yeah if you guys want to clean your outdoor cushions if they're getting dirty and grimy especially if you live in very humid environments they get very gross especially if they're light so that little treatment and then pressure washing worked perfectly i'll show you guys what it looks like so yeah i don't feel great today because i may have had a little bit too much wine last night sue me so this is what they look like we really like them so far we also put two fans up one in that corner and one in this corner yeah i really recommend these like tarp things i don't know uh pretty sure roger got them at home depot i'll double check with him but we just kind of like layered them together and even though it's not really like evenly distributed it still provides a ton of shade and it's a lot cooler down here uh, than if we don't you know put anything and also the fabric of these is like i'm pretty sure it's like a waterproof kind of fabric so it's going to withstand humidity and mold a lot better in my opinion i'm pretty sure it will as opposed to regular fabric i'll show you guys another angle now so this is what it looks like So yeah, I think I'm going to end this vlog here because I'm just going to be hydrating and editing for the rest of the day. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Have a splendid Sunday. Aww.